Hey everybody, I'm Todd Anderson. And I'm Todd Stevens. And you're watching the Versus series by StarCityGames.com. So this week on the Versus series, we're going to be running a new deck in Modern through the Gauntlet. Zan Syed's Bant Spirits deck uh, was the breakout deck of SCG Wooster, where uh, I believe he went a combined 13 and 3 in matches played and uh, put his team all the way into the top four. It was a, a really remarkable looking strategy that we've seen in the past, but got a bit of a boost from Corset 2019. Yeah, Supreme Phantom is the new two drop lord that just kind of helps curve the the deck out. You know, it's already always had like good three drops, always had good one drops, but the twos have been a little lacking. And, and yeah, I mean, Rattle Chains being the standout of the two drops, being mm -hmm. able to protect uh, early uh, threats from uh, spot removal spells, also turning stuff like Geist of Saint Traff into instant speed threats that your opponent might not be able to play around. Uh, definitely a, a, a powerful part of the deck, but everything else, you know, Selfless Spirit's okay, like it has uses in some matchups, but mm -hmm. just a bunch of mopey 2-1 flyers for two. Dude. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So we're going to see, uh, we're going to put Banned Spirits up against a lot of decks and see, you know, if it is like really the real deal, or maybe it's just, maybe it's just Zan's the real deal <laughs> these days. <laughs> yeah, Zan's, Zan's been on a tear lately. He yeah. won uh, a recent open, a modern open with uh, Infect, and then... Next and, open, top four. Yep, and also his he's been playing a lot of Grand Prix like the last couple of months. Uh, he, he said his last four Grand Prix has finished 12-3 every single time. So he's wow. always been one win away from the 13-2. I mean, that's, that's still, still very yeah. impressive. 12-3, <laughs> yeah. wow. So that's like his last six like big tournaments have been like those those four Grand Prix, the open win, the open top four. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, like uh, Mr. Stevens said, today we are going to be uh, starting our gauntlet. Uh, I will be playing the Bant Spirit side all week. I wrote about this deck last week on Star City Games last Thursday, so if you want to know a little bit more about the deck and how to sideboard it in these particular five matchups, I was uh, uh, kind enough to do a breakdown <laughs> uh, of yep. these five matchups in preparation for uh, the Versus series this week. So make sure you go and check that out. Uh, but yeah, what are you playing today? All right, so I'm going to be going with Jeskai Control to start with. Uh, we saw this was definitely a very important matchup on the SCG Tour. Uh, lots of Jeskai Control pilots. Uh, I'm going to be playing Benjamin Nicolich's 75 from SCG Worcester. And uh, Zan played against Jeskai in both the top eight and top four, uh, winning the top eight but losing the top four match. So it's definitely going to be an important matchup going forward. Yep, uh, and that's the matchup that's going to be uh, going on today, Jeskai Control versus Banned Spirits. Later in the week, we're going to run Banned Spirits up against uh, Humans, mm -hmm. uh, Monogreen Tron. Yep, Storm and KCI. Yeah, Storm and Ironworks combo. So be sure to check those out later this week if you want to see how Banned Spirit matches up against the rest of the field. But for now, let's go and get to the match. All right, we're here for the 7-11 game. Seven you lose, 11 you win. If you roll a seven, the other person rolls an 11, they get to go first every game. All three games, all right. Got a seven. Ten. Right. That's, that's bad, right? Yeah, seven's bad. I, got I always roll seven in the 7-11 <laughs> game. I'm so good at that. All right, so just so everyone knows, this week uh, we are going to be playing out all three games of the match as opposed to just best two out of three. So you're going to get to see 15 total games this week of Bant Spirits versus the field. My hand for game one is pretty good. We got a decent curve. No one drop, but I'm definitely going to keep it. Yeah, mine's, uh, mine's a keep two. I have a couple expensive cards I don't really like, but we got some early mana, and oh man, this thing twice is just... Kind of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I really wish this was just a Serum Vision so I could turn one Serum Vision and make sure to keep continue hitting land drops. So I'm going to have to wait till turn two. And then, yeah, maybe, like, it's competing with counter spells and everything at that point. Uh, it's, it's a little embarrassing. But this is what Ben decided to, to play in the open. And so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just, yeah. Just slamming the Just Guy Control Master over there. Oh, it's, you know, I, it's, I, a, it's I'm a little not embarrassing. Gonna, I'm not going to get into it. I love a good think twice. I'm not so sure it is. Good and modern, but <laughs> all right. So here we have the choice to play any of our Mopey two drops. Uh, I don't really want to play my Lord since it doesn't actually pump anything right now. Spell Queller could be good later. We'll see. Subless Spear plus Spell Queller is usually a pretty sweet combo, but I'm assuming that most of my first few creatures are going to die. Yeah. So our our removal spell is Path to Exile here. 
And I don't think this is really a situation where I want to just speed up Todd a ton already this early in the game. Mm -hmm. I have 20 life. I can use my life total as a little bit of a resource. So I'm just going to put in a, a shock land in tapped. And okay. I believe... Steven's going to be at 19. Yeah, I'm going to get a hallowed fountain. With this. Oh man, this thing twice is still just looking terribly because we... <laughs> again we drew a lightning bolt. We don't have any other land, so it'd be great to be able to like you know bolt the selfless spirit and cast the serum vision and try to hit more land drops for all of our four and five mana cards. But you I just think do that next turn, just main phase it, find the land, and path exile. But you're gonna draw like an island or a... <laughs> yeah. I think I think we kind of have to hold this the thing twice up and you know hopefully cast that on the end step and not have to cast other stuff. All right. Oh man, this is embarrassing. Ben, what were you thinking? All right, we're going to attack you for two. You obviously need to think a third time. Oh, my pen fell on the ground. Yep. Okay, so it's going to put you at 17. Yep. And I will play a flood of strand and say go. Okay. Um, so, uh, which mana? I guess I, I really want to shock in again just to make my mana better, and I think it's probably worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and get blue-red and cast this here thing twice. All right, it's going to put you to 14. Yep. Uh, I kind of want to spell queller this, as gross as that sounds. Once you get Selfless Spirit plus spell queller in play, it becomes a lot harder to, to kill both things. <coughs> And I want to use my mana, so I think I am going to get uh, planes and then Spellcaller the thing twice. Okay. This is a, a bit aggressive, but Spellcaller is not great in this matchup, but whenever I can uh, take away something from my opponent while also putting something on the battlefield, and whenever I can set up Spellcaller plus Selfless Spirit, I, I want to try to do so. So that's going to put me to 19. Okay, here I'm going to go ahead and path the Spell Queller right now before there's another Spell Queller or anything else that can get in the way. All right, and I'll let you cast it right now to draw a card. Yep, I will draw a card. I guess that's one reason for me not to go get a forest, huh? Or not to go get a basic. Plane. Yeah, because I think you only have the two basics, right? I have three. I have one of each. Okay, you have one of each. Okay, mm. so you have three basics. Go ahead. Yeah, and the shocking probably doesn't matter too much, but just the, the basics will find their way out of the deck mm -hmm. between path to exile. Uh, play Noble Hierarch. Okay. I'll play a Supreme Phantom. Um, okay. I would, I would usually let this resolve, but... It's pretty hard to use counter spells against the spirit deck. So I'm going to go ahead and logic knot. We have two ups. We're going to have to exile three. Oh, nice think twice. Uh, I should have played Supreme Phantom before I played Hierarch. Well, you have to you exile wanna... one more. Cause yeah, I, I I'm going to have to exile two. one more. And I think I want to keep the path in my yard. No, I guess I have to just keep think twice in my yard. Okay. I wish it was the same vision I could exile. All right, well, we don't have a ton of ways to use the Phantasmal image, so I'm going to go ahead and play it and copy a Selfless Spirit, okay. and then I'll attack for three. So it's going to put you 11. down to 11. So 19, 11, your turn. Draw. Electrolyze here would be very bad, yeah. but we still get to uh, protect the other creatures, so it's not that bad. And uh, Ben was playing three Electrolyze this past weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, don't have any Electrolyze. Uh, I think we're probably going to be doing this, but I'm going to go ahead and pass turn over to you. Okay. Rookie mistake with the phone there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I kind of want to play around Cryptic Command here as much as possible. I don't want to give Mr. Stevens any added value, so I think I'm going to attack. Or, sorry, move to Declare Attack. Yeah, go into combat. Um... All right, so our, that spirit can just 
like we can we can kill the phantasmal image by by bouncing with the cryptic. But if I went bounce draw a card, the cryptic would just fizzle because then it wouldn't have any targets anymore. Correct. So that's not a very good option. I could go bounce this and then tap the team and basically save myself three life. Um. Don't love other either of those options though. I think. Okay, so I'm at 11 right now. You have a potential four coming in. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just gonna let you go to combat. All right, take it for four. All right, so I'm gonna take the four and go down to seven. All right, I will pass turn. Okay, end step. I want to kind of fix my mana here. I want another white source. So let's go ahead and field of ruin, and uh, I guess get rid of temple garden. All right, and unfortunately, that me fetching on turn three and getting a basic is gonna punish me. So that's one thing to. Make sure you do against Jess, guys. Try not to fetch any basics because of Path Exile and Field of Ruin. Yep. I guess I have to shuffle, technically. Oh, right. Yep. Good call. And then after that, I'm going to use a Lightning Bolt on uh, the the regular Selfless Spirit, not the image. The okay. Selfless Spirit. I'll uh, Rattle Chains it to save it. Okay. All right. Here we go. That's a reason just to do it on the other one. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're at seven. Um, just one card in hand. Okay. So if that card's a spell queller, so I could go. I could go with these two. Um, but if that card's a spell queller, I'm going to be taking lethal. Unless I pointed at the image. Hmm. Uh, I think I think that's what I still want to do, though. Because it's just one card, and... You know, there's a good chance it's not anything great. I'm going to go ahead and start with the fairy. Resolve. I'm going to take up to fairy to draw a card. Okay. Um, we drew a land. I'll put that into play tapped. I'm not going to shock here. And then go to end step and untap these two. And still on end step, um, I'm going to lightning helix... So the highest upside play for me is to just Lightning Helix this, because then I gain three life. You can still sack the Selfless Spirit to keep it alive, but then I, I at least gain three life. Mm -hmm. the, I could just target this just to make sure it's off the, the battlefield, but then I won't gain three life. Um, but this could also get blown out by another Rattle Chains or a Drog Skull Captain. Um, so it's, it's the uh, scariest play. But... I think Rattle Change and Drog Skull Captain are going to be pretty hard for me to beat. I think gaining through life so, is hugely important. Yeah, too. so I'm going to. So I think it's worth the risk, and I'm going to target this one. Uh, I will protect the Rattle Change with the Phantasmal Image. So you will gain three. Yep, so I'll go up to ten. And then during your step, I'm going to play a Supreme Phantom. Okay. And our Rattle Change is particularly strong in this deck just because it allows things like Supreme Phantom and Drog Skull Captain to be cast at instant speed. Yep. All right, so we have uh, seven damage here. I think we want to just get Teferi off the battlefield while we can, so we're going to send six at Teferi and one at you, so it's going to put you down to nine. Yep. And... Stay good. All right, Colonnade's a good, a good draw. Next turn he'll be able to, to block for us. So I'm just going to go ahead and play that and pass the turn. Go. Mm -hmm. uh, move two to clear attack. Yeah, I'll tap the team and draw a card. Now, thinking about this a little bit, like I probably should have done this during your upkeep before you drew because I was going right. to be doing it anyway, mm -hmm. and so you had the chance to draw a Spell Queller here. Yep. All right, so that's timing-wise I should have done it then. You're true. Yeah, I mean, that that's definitely a, a good point. A lot of people wait until combat, but in a deck where I don't have haste creatures, you're almost mm -hmm. 100. I'm, I'm definitely not going to cast a spell pre-combat because I don't want to get hit with a counter spell. Right. Uh, all right, so we have Colonnade on defense, and uh, we, then we can keep this up as well. So I think we're good just to pass the turn.
Ooh. All right, thankfully only two creatures right now, but other creatures are going to be dying, so. Yeah. Uh, move to declare attacks. You got it. So, uh, let's take a look at my hand here. So, this, this card is pretty good in this scenario, but if if it gets hit with a counter spell after he animates Colonnade, that could be bad. We can just attack with one of our creatures like Rattle Chains uh, with the Exalted from Noble Hierarch, and that would uh, threaten to trade with the Colonnade. But if he animates Colonnade and then does something like Bull or uh, Path the Exalted on the Supreme Phantom, then it just gets eaten. So I think I just attack and hope for the best since we have this Moorland Haunt active. Okay. Um, I am going to activate. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And uh, before blocks are declared, uh, if he has logic not, he has to tap his colonnade. So we're going to try to path the celestial colonnade. All right. Path's going to gonna happen. Um, Do you want to flow to white or blue? Not really. I just have a bolt. So okay. I'll, I'm going to try to bolt the phantom. All right. We are going to use the Selful Spirit to protect the Supreme Phantom since the Supreme Phantom pumps all my Moorland Haunt tokens. I believe that's better than holding it for a Supreme Verdict. If he's targeting Phantom, that means he doesn't have Verdict in hand. And I, you know, he probably would have bolted this to uh, to make me sack it so he could untap and uh, cast Supreme Verdict. So there's like a little bait and switch type thing going on here. It's four damage either way, so I'll just go ahead and protect. Uh, four damage puts you down to five. We're threatening lethal next turn. Okay, your turn. <coughs> Draw. That one's going to be very good in a little bit. Um, I did have Verdict, actually. Tilt. Alright, we're going to float a white, and then off the Noble Hierarch. Yep. And we'll make a Spirit token. Okay. Um, okay, so we have some options here. Uh, you know, we can cast this right now, but I think I like saving it. I don't, I'm not really scared that I'm going to take five next turn. So we could go, we could get our search for us cancer down, or we could finally use that think twice <laughs> that's in our graveyard. I think let's just get search for us cancer down. That seems like an important one. Attack for one. Down to four. Uh, play this to thin my deck. Your turn. All right. Search for us cancer. I'm going to take one down to 18, just to speed this up. Yep. Trigger. Um. I think we can just do everything on Todd's turn. Go ahead. All right, I'll we make another spirit. All right, so I'm at four. You're at 18 right now. Then after you make the other spirit, I'm going to, yeah, electrolyze them and draw. Okay. Go ahead. Untap. Mm -hmm. uh, your turn. All right, I'll activate Escanta. Four. I got path. Uh, I have... Yeah, sorry. yeah. I'm going to play a collect company when we just have this up. Yep, that's good. Good call. I did have the negate in hand, so that's good. Good call by Todd to fire it off there. And I could have just flashed back thing twice to keep the negate up, but... Did not. I'll just get two Lord effects here, I suppose. The other two don't really protect me from path or spot removal, so... Right. Okay. And I guess we're going to have to use this removal anyway, so yeah, before we untap, might as well just path that. All right. Untap, draw. Um... Well, let's, here, before, before I play the land, let's go ahead and just activate Escanta and just see what we have, like, what we may need mana-wise. I may need to get the other land. Uh, Cryptic is probably our best option here, so we'll go ahead and grab that. All right, and so that means I think I'm safe to just play the scene that's untapped. Go ahead. Play this upkeep. Um, I'll go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and bounce the spirit just to get rid of it and draw a card. Draw for turn. Yep. Attack for one, put you to three. Yep, down to three. How are you doing on creatures over there in your yard? 
I have one, two, three left. Three left? Okay. Your turn. I'm going to go ahead and go to 17. Yep. All right. So this is this is kind of the the problem of trying to fight through Moreland Haunt. It's it's not too easy. We were looking really good there for a little bit. All right, we're gonna go ahead and play to ferry um, to have that down. Let's see, I'm at three. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to do that. All right, tick up, draw a card. That's a good one. Um, play our land, go to end step. All right, keep making spirits. Okay. Um, I think we'll still just do this. Still on end step. Found a snap, so I'm going to snap Helix, the Supreme Phantom. Okay. Gain three lives. Go to six. Yep, go to six. It's pretty good. Yeah, that was definitely a good one. Go ahead. All right, uh, let's go you for one, put you to five. Yep. Your turn. I'll be at four. Okay. All right, so 17 to four right now. And I'll get uh, basic, and I'll flashback this thing twice. Finally. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Untap. Ugh. I am at four. Four is not very many. Well, we're going to tick up to fair again. Just need to keep finding removal. Field of Ruin is actually just really nice to get these oh, yeah. Moreland Haunts out of here. So let's go ahead and go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and Field of Ruin. That'll probably be the end of the game there. And I don't know if I have a basic left either. I think I'm out. Yeah, I'm out also. So we're at four. We have to deal with these two spirits. Um, this is kind of a. This feels like kind of a waste, but well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and attack him for two, of course. Yeah, I'll take him. Yeah. Fifteen to four. All right, so you're at fifteen. I'm at four. This is kind of a waste. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and verdict and get these two things off because I don't have any other removal. So I'm just gonna cast this verdict and pass turn. That's dead. Yep. Go. All right, as Kanta. Search for as Kanta is such a ridiculous card. It is very good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and concede. Yeah. Because then Teferi's just going to be able to win the game from here. We just got a Helix. We got some counters. So we're here for sideboarding. And regardless of whether or not I lose game two, we are going to be playing a game three just to see um, some more post board action. Show you all how the matchup plays out. Uh, from my side of things, we're going to be cutting uh, Path to Exile, even though it can take care of. Uh, Celestial Colonnade, things of that nature. It's not really the kind of card we want in this matchup. We're more focused on just trying to play more tricky creatures. Uh, maybe a counter spell or two. Uh, Phantasmal Image is coming out because there's a good chance that most of my board is you know, wiped off the battlefield via Supreme Verdict or some such. And having a creature in your deck that can potentially be a dead card stuck in your hand is not where I want to be at. And the fact that I don't have a lot of good stuff to copy from Mr. Steven's side uh, means it's coming out. And then Birds of Paradise, in a matchup that has so many sweeper effects, uh, Man Accelerators are a bit worse. We do want Noble Hierarch just because we want to be able to uh, play our spells a little bit more quickly, but Birds of Paradise has the, the least upside, so we're going to be cutting that. Uh, all in favor of uh, these seven cards. Guys, you saying Traft is particularly good in this matchup, yeah. even though it... it quote unquote trades with Snapcaster Mage. We have a lot of ways to uh, protect it, whether it's Selfless Spirit or pumping it with a Supreme Vantum or Drug Skull Captain. Uh, we have ways to, to keep it from dying. It's even just a Noble Hierarch is usually good enough. Uh, two copies of Unified Will as a way to counter stuff like Cryptic Command or some of his uh, bigger, more expensive stuff like Teferi. And then two Thalia is just because his deck is mostly spells and it can gum up the works. Either uh, make it so that his removal spells cost one more, so he can't double removal spell on the same turn, or just uh, stifling his early development by keeping him from being able to cast his draw card spells. Yeah. On my side, uh, we're going to have to be answering the board a lot. We're going to have to be kind of tapping out uh, and using a lot of removal spells, so I, we're not going to be able to hold up counter magic very well. And so that, that's why these Logic Knots and the Gates are coming on out. Kind of the same thing with Cryptic Command. It just costs a lot of mana, even though it's a powerful effect. Uh, I want to just kind of trim down a little bit on the high 
casting cost cards, especially in the face of Thalia. And uh, kind of the same reason with Jace there. We just don't, it doesn't really interact very well with basically any of the creatures besides Phantasmal Image, I guess. Um, but besides that, what we've we got bringing in is um, we have Settle the Wreckage, which is just uh, a fine card that is going to make it kind of hard for Todd to attack, just the presence of it. Uh, it makes attacking kind of, uh, you know, it just makes it more difficult to determine what to attack with. And there's times, like I saw in the in the top eight match between Zan and um, Ben, that Ben was at like two and Zan had two flyers, but didn't want to, but, and Ben just had one card, didn't want it to lose the Settle the Wreckage, so only attacked with one. And the card was just Vendillion clicks, and he just got to flash it and block. Yeah. So uh, that kind of stuff can just just happen by just having the presence of Settle the Wreckage, and so we have some clicks that can can help us block. Baneslayer Angel, I'm kind of expecting just to take over the game if we find it and if we're able to land it. Um, most people cut their removal post board against Jeskai, so I'm, I'm hoping that can just kind of help us take over the game. And then we have another sweeper with explosives that uh, we, we do get to do the, the neat trick of we could like sunburst, or we could make it like the X is five, but sunburst three to be able to play around spell queller there. Mm -hmm. And I guess just one dispel to kind of uh, shut down Collected Company at a very, very reduced rate. Just yeah, one for mana. sure. All right, we're here for game two. I'm going to be on the play with a pretty sweet opener. Unfortunately, we have two of our basics in our opener, so we're going to be a little loose at things like Field of Ruin and Path to Exile this game, but I, I definitely want to keep this hand. Yeah, mine's also certainly a keep. Uh, six six cards here, my seven card hand. I uh, just didn't have any lands, so couldn't keep that one. So we're on six here. Let's. We're just getting one more action, though, and this card's probably better than a random draw in our deck, so it's going to... They'll be able to do trade with something, so All right. go and keep uh, We are going to fetch. Uh, I'm going to go to 17 and play Noble Hierarch off of a breeding pool. Okay. So normally I'd have a decision to what to do here, turn one, whether I'd want to cast my Serum Vision or my Lightning Bolt. But I'm playing Think Twice instead of Serum Vision, so I really only have one play. So might as well bolt the bird. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and fetch Shock. I'm going to go ahead and get a Red-White Land, actually. All right, so we got 17 all. There we go. So I guess the uh, the thing twice is do make you bolt the bird. So maybe Ross <laughs> will start actually bolting the bird since he can't do anything else. Yeah, your turn. All right. So Todd passing here is making me th feel like there's going to be a rattle chains coming, but not much I can do to stop that. So I am just going to pass the turn back. All right. Play a guys Saint draft. Well, <laughs> <laughs> your turn. That's a card. Uh, think twice. Sure. Draw again. Pass the turn. Mm. All right. I will take two. Go to 15. Yep. I will declare tax. You got it. Uh, I don't know if I have an angel. T oh, there. Sorry. Yep. All right. Angel coming on in. Hopefully this works. Then dealing click. So I'm just gonna unified will it since I control more creatures than you. You do have more creatures than I do. That is that is a fact. All right, so I'm gonna take six down to eleven. Your turn. I will force him to uh, use like a supreme verdict or something here on the geist. Your turn. Or not. Well, it didn't work last time, but may it work this time. I will spell queller it. No, nope, didn't work this time either. All right. right, so taking six again down to five. Yep. Your turn. All right. Uh, I'm going to do this now while Todd doesn't have as much mana. And uh, I, think, I think it's just best just to do it now. So I'd like to snap bolt the queller. I'd like to protect it with the route chains. Well, all right. Uh, so you're down to 14? Yeah. And you're dead. Yeah, I'm very dead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, declare checks. Yep. So that's six in the air, seven, eight in the air, actually. Yeah. You got me. Guys, St. Traff, good. It is very good. He even had three or, yeah, three potential blockers for it. Yeah. All right. We're here for game three with probably our best hand so far. We got uh, early removal and then our big four mana spells as well. So, uh, 
yeah, this is definitely a keep. Uh, this is not a hand that I love. Simply, we don't have white mana, but we can cast four of our spells, so I'm, I'm going to keep it. Yeah. Colonnade. And we actually get to start off with a Mausoleum Wonder. I'm curious to see how good okay. that card is in this matchup. Um, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it's going to be pretty good. So, I don't think there's really, like, the Bolt's going to trade with the Mausoleum Wanderer at some point. I don't think there's really a reason to wait for, like, a, a Rattle Chains to be able to be up or anything like that. So, I'm mm. just going to go ahead and fetch Shock. So, I'm going to go to 17. Okay. And so 17 to 20. Yep. And we'll get uh, Blue Red. Okay. All right. Another. Do I want to do that? I'm actually, so I don't know that Todd has cited out Logic Knots. Uh, if I'm going to EOT a Rattle Chains, there's literally no reason to not main phase it other than Path to Exile. But if he wants to Path to Exile me, I'm fine with that. So we are going to play this main phase to get under a counter spell and say go. That's fine. All right. Well, we have Helix, and I'm going to go ahead and, again, just do that right now so I can gain the three. Okay, so you're at 20. Back, back to 20. I'm also yep. at 20. Your turn. 20 all. I will take two. I'm going to go to 18. Okay. Play another Rattle Chains and see you go. Hmm. All right. I'm going to just be doing the, the same play. Just another Helix. Same. I'm going to just flash in a, a Wonder. Yeah. We can't counter it, so... I could have done that in reverse, like play this, but he's not incentivized to main phase it anymore. Uh, like, and I wanted to like basically get him to tap out. So if we draw a land, we get to resolve a big spell. Right. Uh, so you're gonna go 23. I'm still at 18. Yep. Okay. All right. So I'm at 23. All right. Attack for two or for three. Sorry, because the plus one and then plus yep. one. Yep. Yep. So that's three. So I'm down to 20. Yep. Your turn. Okay. Todd's stuck on white mana over there. We're going to just kind of keep on going with our game plan of helix every creature. Yep, just going to put you back up to 23. <laughs> it's a pretty good game plan. Go ahead. Back for one. 22. No. Your turn. And I'll be down to 21 now. All right. 21 to 18. So Todd has at least got us down to only having two cards to his, like, what, four? Three? Okay, so not as much. These colonnades should are about to be online, though. Pass turn. Attack for one. Down to 20. Your turn. Um... <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm, I'm debating on whether to play this card right now and just kind of keep these up. I guess the worst thing that could happen is if I tap out here would be a collect company. But I think that that's still actually kind of perfectly fine. So just to kind of turn this tempo around, I'm going to try a Snapcaster Mage. Resolved. And then, uh, so Lightning Helix is not going to gain life against a Wanderer. Because uh, we'll just be able to sack it. But then it's possible at a future time I'm going to need the Lightning Bolt for just the one mana. So it's I can't imagine I'm going to need the third Helix in my graveyard. So mm -hmm. I'll just go ahead and use a Helix right now. All right. Uh, we're going to play a Collected Company. There's a chance we save our Wanderer with uh, a combination of the Pump Effects from itself and Lords. Or just a Draw Skull Captain or yep. a Rattle Chain. So. Or, or a Spell Queller. All right, we don't want to put Spellcore on the battlefield when uh, we have two ways to actually protect it. So it's going to get hexproof and also just be big enough because it's going to be up to a 5-5. Five five. So even if he has a way to kill this uh, right now with like a Path to Exile, uh, he'll gain three life, but this will still survive. And we can actually use this to protect from the Yeah, protect the, the captain. Exile. So I will put these on the battlefield. Okay. Triggers and then counters, counter this. Yep. Attack. Walk. Dang. Yep. Yep. All right. Verdict. 
Yeah, I figured that would probably happen. But yeah, that's still basically just traded your one company for my verdict. So. All right, I'm gonna go to 15 and play guys the same draft. Yep, that's a good one. And I will pass the turn after that. Finally drawing my white mana. All right, so 15 to 20. Yep. And we got our lands. We have our colonnade unlocked, so we're gonna just play defense with colonnade here, and pass the turn. All right, so I'll go to 19 and just get a tap land in. So unfortunately, the geist basically means I can't ever <laughs> tap my mana. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a strange game we're playing, but, you know. All right, go ahead. All right, I will play Coco. Dispel. Uh, crap. All right. Yeah, uh, that's the perfect one that still lets me hold a colonnade back. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I'm going to go to 14. Okay. So 19, 14. I guess I'll just get another Howled Fountain. That's so much green mana and so few green cards in my deck. <laughs> yeah, just the Hyrax and companies, and I guess that one little birdie. Little bird. I only have. Any green sideboard cards, I don't think. No, I don't think so either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's basically splashing for Hierarch and Company. Um, your turn. Uh, your turn. All right. Go, go again. Dang. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to counter that. So we're gonna have to have our shields down with this company. We're gonna be counter draw. Let's mm -hmm. see. I guess like this. I'll leave us up with. Might as well just have. Yeah, there we go. We have three blue and then two of the others, or at least three white also. All right, counter draw. Go ahead. All right, I uh, will go to thirteen. Yep. I probably should have waited a turn or two before. Casting that, just try to find some way to interact with the cryptic command. But I don't have a whole lot going on. Todd had, you know. Yeah, I just had col yeah, I just had the one card also. So two colonnades are looming, being yeah. scary. You know, it could have been a snapcaster mage or something like that. But yeah. all right, check for, for six. six. So I'm down to thirteen as well. It's thirteen all. All right, your turn. I'd like some serum visions about now. Go ahead. All right, I will play selfless spirit. Okay. I'll see you. And step all bolt the selfless spirit. I will play a spell queller. No, that's kind of bad. All right, so using this to bolt, I'll go down to twelve. This could be just the not great thing to do here. Uh, taking another point. I didn't really do the math. You can take it back. I don't care. Well, I don't, let's see. So what am I looking at? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, I'm looking at ten. I mean, right I, now. I attack in chunks of uh, even points of damage usually. Yeah. Unless I draw a Lord effect. So. And actually, I'm gonna field a ruin also. All the time. Okay. Which one? We'll take out this hollow found right here. Okay. I'm up against it. The Queller and Spirit draws were quite good. Mm -hmm. I need like a, I don't know, like a path for the Queller, which will then be able to bolt the Spirit. We'll see. Okay. What can this do? What can mm -hmm. that do? Hmm. Pass turn. Hmm. 
Hmm. So I don't really want to initiate this fight just yet. So I can attack with everything. If it's a cryptic command, it's just going to tap pre-combat. So I guess I should say uh, move to declare attacks. No, no attacks. All right. So if I attack with everything, he activates colonnade to block. I can use Soul Spirit to protect all this stuff, uh, regardless of what he blocks with Colonnade. I can also just let damage happen. Like, if he blocks Geist, then just deal him four from the Angel and four from these, and I'll put him to four. I don't hate that. But I want to make try to make sure Geist sticks around. I think I'm going to wait one more turn before I attack, so I'll just say go. Okay. All right. And step... Snappers. I'll spell quality. Dang. All right. Hmm. Sorry, I got to actually tap my lands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You had enough right. to pay for it? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Rats. <laughs> <laughs> huh. What can this do? This is, you know, we have a lot of options here. No, if you do Path X, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> no, it's not that good. Um, I think, I think I'm just going to pass the turn, and I guess, so I have a Cryptic. I think I'm just going to upkeep, tap, and draw. So I could, I could like, wait till combat and animate Colonnade, and then I would still have enough to, after blockers, use the Cryptic, but I don't think there's really a good... So if I do that, um, I'm planning on, like, blocking, like, a Spell Queller, maybe bouncing, like, like the, the token or the other Spell Queller. I don't think that that's going to be too good for me. So I guess, I think I'm... That's tough. I think I'm going to just do Tap, Draw, and hope to draw something. So we'll do that during your upkeep. Tap, Draw. Go ahead. Go. Draw. Hmm. Interesting. Um. One to spirit, one to you, draw card. Okay. I'll make all my things indestructible. Yep. So you go down to 12, 12 all. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see. I may do something else here. What? If, okay. So if I wait, if I just block with colonnade, I guess I'm not dead yet. So I'm kind of dead. I don't really know what I can do. Um, yeah, the indestructible is actually unfortunate. Whoops, sorry. The indestructible is actually unfortunate. So I think I think uh, going to your turn is is gonna be our best thing. Go ahead. All right, upkeep. Yep. Draw. Yep. Alright, Delay Ducks. Yeah. Alright, go. Hmm. So if I attack with everything, he just basically takes 8 down to 4, blocks this one, gets Snapcaster back. Uh, oh, I guess he can't... Oh, no, you can Snapcaster and Bolt, or block. Yeah, cause I'd, I'd be able to block and then Snap Helix. I'd be able to, like, get Snapcaster back, Helix. Like, I'd, have to, I'd just take 1. For all right, go. All right, so I'll, I will take that one, go to eleven. Okay. And I guess we gotta get a shock <coughs> land in now. So eleven to twelve. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's certainly interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and play Teferi. Yep. I'm going to tick up, I think. I could tuck this, get a bolt, bolt that. But then... I kind of like the tick up. Yeah, I'm going to tick up. So four to five. Get it off. And then go to end step and untap two lands. Your turn. Alright, draw. Alright, uh, play drugstore captain. Ooh, that's going to force some action. Uh, I can't really afford to, though, yet. So, yeah, no, that's good. This is hard. <laughs> yeah. Playing against Jeskai is really tough. <laughs> Every time I like, I never like playing green white against Jeskai because it's so tough. Yes. Ship in with everything. Um, we'll do. So you. You tap four for... Uh, all right, well, I guess I'm sending it at you. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll counter it. Okay, you have a caller? Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. Dead. Yep. <laughs> I figured you'd just send it at me if you have, I, if you I have was, a I was, I was really... Yeah, I, I probably should. But so yeah. you're not dead if you actually just block... Uh, so it's only... A, oh, you are at 11. So you have to yeah. actually block here? Yeah, I'd block there. I, yeah, I forgot that you... Uh, wait. Yeah, no. I was, I was on the cell of the wreckage plan there. It's only nine. So if you block here, it's nine. If you block here, that's four... Yeah, Ten? I still would have cast settle though. Okay. So like sure. I yeah, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have blocked here. I would have cast settle and gone for it. With you having the one card. That's fair enough. Yep, I would have gone for you having captain as your only protection. Alright, so that was a, a pretty sweet match. Uh mm -hmm. the, the Band Spirits deck winning both of the sideboard games, uh seemingly just on the strength of Geist of Saint Trapped alone. You know, the the fact that it sitting across the, the battlefield from your celestial colonnades basically meant that I could never really attack with it, but also you could never tap mana. Right. You know, uh, I mean, obviously you can play some instant speed things like removal spells or whatever, but uh, if you ever try to cast a Teferi, you know, I could end a turn go collect a company into such and such and, and then attack you with the Guts of Saint Trap plus any other thing I put on the battlefield. So. Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely a, a huge strain on my mana that whole game. Um, and the, the spell callers were just amazing. You know, like, yeah, the th yeah all three spell callers were, were just incredibly good. They, uh, you know, kept eating a spell. I definitely could have, like, you know, so I drew the, the Cellar Wreckage for turn. I could definitely could have just used the Teferi and just instead of tick ticking up and being incredibly uh, greedy, which was the line I went, it's a lot safer just to minus on, like, your Queller with the Bold and try, you know, try to start, you know, doing yeah, stuff there. Yeah, uh, it... But. I, I think that your your play was fine. I, I was basically starting to, to steamroll you a bit with the spell callers and yeah, you can unlock them uh via the um the Teferi minus, but I'm almost hundred percent gonna be able to kill your Teferi if you do right. that. And if the game goes longer, I think you're in, in pretty bad shape. So I think trying to get full value out of Cell of the Wreckage there is definitely uh, where you want to be. I was just very lucky. And I drew the third spell queller. <laughs> yeah. You know, we were nice. both on empty. I'd already cast three collected companies. You know, I was basically just drawing for spell quellers or ways to protect the ones that were already on the battlefield. And even then, a single path to exile could, you know, break that whole chain because the path to exile gets back the snapcaster mage, the snapcaster mage path to exile the other one, the lightning bolt takes care of something, you know. Right, yeah. So, and you could also block, you know, that, yep. that's, a, that's another thing. And, and your life tool was high enough where. You had you had some time, but I, I don't hate the the just trying to be a little greedy with that. <laughs> yeah, no, it was def sure. yeah definitely greedy there, but uh, that was that was a really good game. Uh, like it was like we were both drawing really well, you know, like we were both like empty pretty early in that game, mm -hmm. and then we you know, like yeah you kept drawing like like spells and companies and stuff, and I was drawing cryptics and verdicts and stuff like that. So yeah, it was a good good match. Yeah, uh, we will have more Bant Spirits later this week. Uh, all five matches this week are going to be the full three games. 
whether or not it should go to, to three games or just to have some more post sideboard games. Yeah, so, more uh, testing in. Yeah, a little more testing in for these matchups. Uh, we're going to be playing against uh, Modern Green Tron, uh, Ironworks Combo, Blue Red Gift Storm, and Humans. Mm -hmm. That'll be the the four matches throughout the week. I don't know which order we're going to do them in, but that yeah. uh, those are the four matches coming up later this week. So make sure you check that out, especially if you are planning on picking up Bant Spirit yourself. This is a new deck, uh, or new-ish deck in modern in general, but now with Supreme Phantom, I think it got a, a huge uh, jump start. Right. So I'm, I'm very much looking forward to, to seeing how this deck ends up uh, impacting the modern metagame as well as just whether or not it's actually good. Right, yep. So final thoughts from this matchup. Uh, I know uh, just hearing from like the other people that Zan was, uh, he thought his Jessica matchup was incredibly good. Um, but... It, whenever I watched the video against him against Nikolic, I kind of liked it more from the Nick from the Jess guy side. And then we saw that he did lose to Jess guy in the top four. We just saw those those play out with Band Spirits winning here, but they're a real close game. So what are, what are your final thoughts on this matchup? I mean, I I think that a a great Jess guy player versus a great Band Spirits player, you're just gonna have the Jess guy player edging out by about five percent or so. Yeah. I, I think that just the the like, especially if you're gonna play Nikolic's version that has three electrolyzes, those can be pretty tough to beat. Um, you know, Cryptic Command is is. is something that this deck actually has trouble interacting with other than the spell quellers. You know, you have rattle change to stop spot removal from here and there. You have draw scroll cap in to, to help in that regard. But, you know, just the existence of Supreme Verdict uh, as well as the vulnerability of spell queller. Like, the, these things are all, all difficult uh, to, to deal with from the banned spirit side. But, but as uh, any tribal deck is concerned, you have draws that are tough to beat. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you know, you, you could just draw more threats than the control deck draws removal. So you can definitely win matches. I mean, we saw him beat Nikolic in top eight, but then he lost in top four. You know, there was a very good chance that I lost this match. So yeah. I, I think it's very close to even, and I would not want to play the matchup from either side. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, I, yeah. I would much rather try to find, uh, you know, a 70-30 matchup uh, or something like that. So. Right. Yeah, it makes sense. If you want, and from the Jess guy side, if you want to make your matchup better, get Think Twice out of your deck, put Serum Vision in there. <laughs> that's, that's an easy way. Sure. Um, you know, you didn't have, like, Thalia's or anything that really makes... The, Think twice look embarrassing, but no, but I mean, I, the, you know, I, I don't love think twice in that deck. I, I mm -hmm. do understand why it's there. Um, you know, you're playing it mostly flash speed, you want to make sure you hit your land drops, and uh, think twice can uh, do both of those things. There's a reason why we see basically four opt is ubiquitous yeah. in those decks now, yep. uh, as opposed to four serum visions, and it's because the instant speed is just king. Yep. So. Yeah, and it, it's a lot easier to flashback opt with Snapcaster than than Think Twice. But yep. I do kind of like I like Think Twice more if you're playing like like Thought Scours and you can maybe like mill them over or something. But that's sure. That's but maybe minimal. I think that's a little too much wheel spin. Yeah, that's that's so. very minimal. That's not this deck. That's a different deck. Yeah. All right. Well, that's gonna be all for me and Mr. Stevens today. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all for watching the Versus Series by StarCityGames.com. For Todd Stevens, I'm Todd Anderson. We'll see you tomorrow.